experience that, you know, it's, it's not just you and your friends. Your city government is also hip. Your city government also, it's a place to be. You want to be in that place where your city government thinks this way. The question is still there. The big question is, by doing all of these things, you know, we can have the best of the website. We can have all the social media stuff. But the huge problem is 39% of Chicagoans don't have access to broadband at home. So we could have the best of the website. You could have our mayor speaking through the YouTube. You could have him tweeting. But then we are not reaching to a large population there. So the, the, where, where innovation kind of uh, comes in, it's kind of a double-sided sword kind of thing where you know it's, it's great to innovate and get the new thing out as soon as possible. At the same time, make sure that whatever you're putting out there is also addressing the needs of the other 39%, 40% people that don't have access to all those new tools. And this is actually, we, this is a 2008 uh, survey that we did. And uh, one of the things that we found out that 23 out of Chicago's 77 neighborhoods have average broadband penetration less than <laughs> rural America. So if rural America you go, you have better chances of getting broadband, opposed to if you go to those 23 neighborhoods in Chicago and knock in somebody's door and say you've got broadband, they don't. So this is a huge, this is a huge problem. And this is where uh, we are looking for a lot of innovative partnerships. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is, again, these are different speeds. So dial up to all the way up to a, a one gig of advanced fiber connection. But then look at that 1.5 megabits per second. This is your regular synchronous T1 line, T1 connection. And this is, again, 2008 data, so it could have changed. Uh, but you, as a small business in Chicago, in 2008, you used to pay 740 bucks to get a 1.5 megabits connection. This is directly off of AT&T's website. And this is, this is not good for innovation. I mean, this is, you, you talk about Japan, which, is, which has the average broadband speeds of 93 megabits per second. You talk about Japan, where they are talking FTTH, fiber to the home. Not just Japan, you're talking Finland. London spending billions of dollars. Australia's $31 billion spending on uh, building fiber to the home. And 